वेलकम बैक वीवर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डू द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ जनरल पर्पज एस्ट्रा लिनक्स तो इफ यू गो बैक टू द वेबसाइट यू कैन सी देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एस्ट्रा लिनक्स एडिशन अवेलेबल दैट इज द स्पेशल पर्पज ओ एस एंड द जनरल पर्पज ओ एस सो स्पेशल पर्पज ओ एस इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर डाउनलोड ओनली द जनरल पर्पज ओ एस इज अवेलेबल सो वी क्लिकड ऑन दिस लोड बटन the download button is not working it will not open the link to the downloads you have to click on the load button and upon clicking the load button this web page will open up this is the directory of isos so there are two options either you install this or you install this so these are both stable versions but this is only in russian uh, russian language while here you can right from the beginning you can choose the language between the russian or english so you can do the installation in english language or in russian language and based on the language selected at the time of install the same language will be applied when you will boot into the system and the current iso is the rolling iso so you can also try this uh, maybe you will try it sometime later but uh, for uh, today we will going to install this oral stable iso that i have already downloaded here so we will start the installation now so there is uh, it is a independent uh, distro so there is no template available here so we'll just click on next customize give it 4 gb if it will even also work in 2 gb also but uh, let us give it 4 gb so it will perform better so here this is the main uh, installer that has uh, popped up on the screen from f1 you have to select the language so the options are available this is russian and below is the english language so you have to click on english so it should work it is little bit slow yes now i think the let us see if it is uh, not in english i will close the installation we will restart the installation most probably it, it is no it is in russian so what i will do is i will just go back destroy this uh, virtual machine create a new virtual machine you have to use f1 key function f1 and then select uh, english enter so now language of the installer has changed now you can do the installation it should start there is also Uh, terminal mode available for installation so there are graphical and terminal modes available we have chosen the graphical mode so this is a calamus installer english is selected by default since we have changed the language of the installer as well as the installation to english and you can change uh, further and uh, choose the india english local or you can choose any local of uh, your choice you have to agree to the agreement key map you can keep american english now comes the inst interesting part of this installer so the installer will offer uh, you many options to install so many of the components of the system are optional so we will just see that on the screen so here you can see it is written astra linux common edition so this is for the general purpose day to day use and the special edition is not available for install you have to pay for that and then it will be made, made available to you the host name we can keep astra user account we can have say we can have sam and i will choose one password 
I will keep it longer this time. And now there are time zones available. So Kaliningrad, Moscow, Samara, Yek Yekaterinburg, Omsk, Krasnoyarsk, Irkutsk, Yakutsk, Vladivostok, Magadan, and Kamchatka. So we will go with Moscow. Now the dish partitioning might come up. So we will choose the default dish partitioning. You can go with uh, the manual dish partitioning. Or maybe we can try out the manual partitioning here itself. So we will go with manual. Let us see what options it gives. So we can go with the guided partitioning. Let us go with the guided partitioning. Go with manual. Okay. Use the hard disk. Yes. So now continue create a new partition so go with 0.8 uh, uh, gb primary beginning so you have to use the fat 32 you can go with fat 32 also mount point you can use as uh, dos or you can go for a windows boot or best is go back use it uh, as extended 4 then use the mount point slash boot it will be a static files of the bootloader continue mount options not necessary to do okay so we can label this as boot then continue okay we will go back now create a new partition create around 4 GB GB of partition make it primary uh, we keep it at the end so it will be just after the boot uh, partition mount point you have to change the mount point so yes it is a swap partition so need not do the mount point only select the swap area so now you have to go back and finally the remaining 20.5 GB we will do with we will do a new partition yes make it primary mount point yes extended for journal link system label we can have as a linux system continue okay we will go back now just check all the partitions they are properly labeled properly given the mounting mounts so now we can uh, choose finish partitioning and write changes to the disk choose yes option Once the base system is uh, finished installing, it will ask us to choose groups of uh, applications to install. So there are different groups of applications that can be chosen by the user. We will see to that. I think in next few seconds, the base system will finish installing. It is uh, based on Debian. You can see uh, there was a message here. It was showing Debian utils. So Astra Linux is based on Debian. So what they have done is they must have taken the stable version of Debian and then they have completely uh, uh, did a makeover 
to satisfy the standards security standards of russian federation so similarly india also has its own operating system that is boss linux so that also has been covered in our uh, channel you can search for the boss linux playlist so same similarly russia has also based the operating system astra linux for the domestic market based on debian so debian is considered the best, most stable operating system in the world it is even used in iss that is the international space uh, station it is very secure and very stable you just cannot make it uh, break easily okay so now it has given us options to install different kernels so kernel 4.15 generic as well as hardened kernel is available 5.10 generic and hardened kernel 5.15 generic and hardened kernel and 5.4 generic and hardened kernels are available so since my system is based on intel i3 processor that is 10th generation i will go with the linux 5.15 generic or we can go with the 5.15 hardened let us go with the 5.15 hardened continue hardened linux is nothing but a linux kernel that is patched with different security patches so that makes it uh, more uh, secure and it cannot be easily hacked into so the generic kernel is patched that is called a hardened kernel generic kernel, uh, kernel means it is a vanilla kernel a kernel that was developed by the developers by the kernel.org and then then that kernel is patched with the different security patches by the different manufacturers or the linux uh, developers linux distribution developers and then it becomes a hardened kernel many functionalities are added or removed from the kernel so it becomes a custom kernel and hardened kernel is type of a custom kernel where everything uh, all the patches are applied as when uh, when they are released uh, released okay now the base system has been installed and there is a software selection that a user has to do so base packages are already installed you have to install the fly desktop or not so you have to say yes flyers for working on devices with touch screen so i will include this also so some of some of the fly apps that fly apps are nothing but uh, system utilities designed to work with the fly desktop so, and this will come with additional touch screen functionality so if you don't uh, select this then fly apps without the touch screen functionality will be in installed and if you click this fly apps with touch screen uh, functionality will be installed if you want to install games you have to say yes if you want to install the databases yes ssh server yes virtualization tools yes development tools yes or no so all options are available so let us go with the virtualization tool let us see what is installed and we will go with development tools also i will not go with ssh uh, server and database so that uh, if you are using it you can go with that and check it out for yourself but for uh, the general user virtualization tool and development tools let us see what they have got to offer along with the internet suite office suite and the games so now we will continue with the further installation see if you see here it, it was showing task task cell task cell is nothing but the debian task cell so it will allow us to select the task so task is a group of applications that is going to get installed so you have to choose between the application so we have done, we have done that already
now there are some further uh, selections to be done or we can say additional os settings enable console lock enable interpreters lock enable ufw firewall so that we enable enable system limits disable ptrace compatibility disable non execution bit setup enable password entry for sudo so we will enable the password entry for sudo system clock is set to local time enable auto login to x session disable automatic network configuration and install 32 bit bootloader so rest all the are un unnecessary we will only enable the ufw firewall enable the password entry for sudo and now we will continue This was the final setting or final options to be chosen. Now the grub bootloader will be installed and then we will have to reboot into the new system. So do you want to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record? Yes, since this is a single uh, OS, we can do that. Select the hard disk that is our virtual hard disk. So the installation of Astra Linux is successfully done. I will stop the video here. In the next video, we will check out the fly desktop of Astra Linux. See you in the next video. Bye.